So with me now, Ramin Gurbanov. Mm -hmm. You're the newly elected Vice President of the Commission for the Efficiency of Justice. Um, what does the Commission do? First of all, thank you very much for invitation. It's a very great honor to be here. As a vice, new elected Vice President of CPESH, I would like to mention that almost a decade ago the Commission was established and uh, this demonstrated the will of the Council of Europe to promote the rule of law and the fundamental rights in Europe based on the European Convention on Human Rights. Taking into account the excessive workload of the European Court of Human Rights, the CEPESH was established as an uh, analytical and advisory institution of the Council of Europe and specialized in uh, promoting the justice in Europe and uh, assistance to the member states in uh, increasing and improving their justice systems. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about improving justice systems, what does that mean? It means um, uh, all the steps were undertaken to speed up justice in the member states, to increase their efficiency in order to decrease the workload of the uh, European Court. And I would like to say that today the Commission gained the very high respect among the policy makers, lawyers, judges, uh, justice employees. And during the recent 15 years, they were developed many documents and tools within the CEPESH in the uh, justice field. And uh, these documents are considered very useful, not only in the efficiency and uh, quality of justice in general, but also in particular matters of judiciary. But when we talk about improving justice systems, we're talking about the way that judges organize their working time. Is it, is it that kind of thing? Of course, the CPH comprising the main five fields of activities. This is the evaluation of judicial systems. Uh, here is how the judges or the court systems organize, how the judges organize their work. And, and there's this, a report every year. Yes, every two years uh, we organize this uh, report. And uh, recently in Paris it was a press conference and the new report covering the 2014 data was released to the mm -hmm. European community. And the other uh, directions is comprising the ident identifying the quality issues, quality of justice, the judicial time frames, the implementation of the alternative dispute resolutions and also the enforcement of court decisions. And of course you come from Azerbaijan yourself mm -hmm. and CEPEJ has worked quite closely with the authorities there I believe on the judicial reforms in Azerbaijan. Yes. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Before turning to Azerbaijan I would like to say that in, during, in the CEPEJ um, in parallel with developing all these tools and documents we are also very uh, closely working with the member states within the targeted cooperation projects and uh, the um, cooperation programs. So on the one hand you've got requests from member states yes. for assistance yes. and then you've got projects. You are right. In the recent period for example about uh, 12 uh, projects already successfully implemented in such a countries like in Azerbaijan, in Croatia, in uh, Portugal, in France and etc. At what, when we talk about the more broad uh, cooperation project, now we are running about 10 projects and mm -hmm. this project is uh, covering not only the Europe but also uh, some uh, countries outside the Europe like uh, Jordan, Tunisia, Morocco. Relating to Azerbaijan, I would like to say that Azerbaijan is a very active member of the Council of Europe and um, the Azerbaijan authorities expressed the very strong political view to bring the judiciary in accordance with the uh, international standards and standards of the Council of Europe. The large judicial legal reforms have been successfully implemented during the recent uh, years and this work was done in very close collaboration with the Council of Europe. And uh, I would like to stress out that the recent reforms uh, was uh, based on the information sources gathered by the CEPESH. Mm. For example, when the, the policymakers uh, made a decision on the number of judges, number of courts, type of courts, number of lawyers and prosecutors, also in identifying the key performance indicators in court performance, in application of IT technologies, we all always refer to the um, Council of Europe, this European Commission for Efficiency of Justice. Mm. And uh, today, um, 
we recommend strongly to other counterparts also to benefit from this uh, report, from information and methodology developed by the CEPESH. So a lot has happened, a lot has been done already, mm -hmm. but I believe there's still some, some work going on. Of course, it, none of the countries can say that they are already um, reach goals in developing the justice system. The life is going on, the new challenges are coming. And uh, today we uh, have, we together with the, uh, the Council of Europe and the European Union, they are around the two uh, projects in Azerbaijan. The first of, uh, was covered the years of 2012 and 2014. It was the project on enhancing the judicial reform in Eastern Partnership countries. And at the moment, the other project, uh, which is called Eastern Partnership Programmatic uh, Cooperation Fra Framework, mm -hmm. PCF, this pro project is covering the 2015 and 2017 years. And the main idea of this project is to strengthen the uh, independence of judiciary by means of increasing the efficiency of courts, their role in delivering user-oriented justice, increasing uh, the, the quality of the training of judges and promoting the self-governance in Azerbaijan and also <coughs> to uh, continuing the reforms in line with the Council of Europe standards. When you talk about user-oriented justice, what does yes. that mean? It means that all the justice it uh, served for citizens. This is the main idea. And by increasing the efficiency inside the justice, inside the courts, our aim is to deliver the proper, speedy justice to citizens across the Europe. And in Azerbaijan, this project started to implement uh, in five pilot courts. We choose uh, the pilot courts where we have already the case management system and the old uh, styled courts mm -hmm. to see how the CEPESH tools and methodology can be used in modern courts, uh, smart courts and in old uh, style courts. And we found out that this methodology and these uh, tools, documents uh, gave the positive outcomes and today the judicial services relating to the quality and efficiency of this uh, are uh, given very good uh, outcomes in this course. And the other national courts across the country in Azerbaijan, also they uh, raised the interest in implementing the same tools in uh, these courts. Because the pilot courts, the five pilot courts, they're at what level? It's a first instance and appeal courts. So we choose uh, two courts from appeal and the rest is uh, first instance, but also by specialization. We have uh, the co common jurisdiction courts and also the administrative economic courts. And when you talk about smart courts, what does mm -hmm. that mean? In Azerbaijan, we are also now establishing the smart courts because now the main uh, idea of speeding up the processes of making the transparency for the citizens is the establishing of the smart courts. Smart courts, it means the wisely implement the IT technologies in the courts because there are many countries which implemented the IT technologies, spent lots of uh, investments but didn't achieve their goals. That's why it, uh, we try to wisely implement the proper uh, key performance indicators and to develop the dashboard for presidents of the courts, for judges, for the other super higher court in order to uh, bring the statistical data into knowledge. In so they courts. know what's going on in their courts? Yes, this is most important and also to give the e-services for citizens because today what is a lack is a lack of time and we are trying to deliver the proper quality services to citizens through e-applications. So cyber justice? Let's say, yes. Also it will be a conference on cyber justice within the CEPESH and within the Council of Europe on 5th of December in the Council of Europe to discuss the future of these IT applications and what, uh, what we can expect from that in future. Ramin Gubarnov, thank you very much for talking thank to us today. Thank you very much for you also. Thank you.